so this video is the fun part now we get to pour all of our colors on top of our wooden surface and so my daughter is going to be here helping me out here's our primed wooden surface and for this project we decided that we were going to do four flip cups one for each of the wooden sections so i'm going to be using four cups each cup will have paint and we will flip them on top of our wooden sections so we are going to be making sure that each of our individual cups has about equal amounts of paint we want to make sure that whenever we flip our cups that all of the colors look relatively the same in each of the sections so that we don't have a section that is completely blue and then another one has a lot of white so we want it to be uniform and so we're going to make sure that we add about equal amounts of each of our paints into each of our individual cups and so that is what my daughter is doing here we added white first and then we're just layering the rest of the colors into each cup now here's how the paint looks in our cups they're not equal they don't look the same however we did add similar amounts into each cup and now we're going to be flipping them here we go and we're going to be dragging the cups so that the paint goes equally or not equally but at least fills some of the space on the surface of our canvas so that we're not having to tilt the painting too much so she's flipping the cup and then dragging so that we cover some of the area or most of the area of our canvas sorry not our canvas but our wooden surface now we're doing it again dragging the cup spreading the paint So now we are going to be tilting so that the paint spreads and covers the areas that don't have any paint. We want to make sure we don't spread it that much, we don't tilt it too much. Um, so we have to be careful and if we don't have enough paint then we need to add more rather than stretching it out too much. And it looks like that middle panel or that middle section doesn't have enough paint and so we're going to go ahead and make another batch of white paint so that I can add it or make another cup of paint mixture and add it to that middle section or the sections that don't have enough paint. Now my daughter is going to be adding some paint just in random areas to cover some of those sections and I'm going to be adding some white paint just also randomly on top of the paint that we already have on our painting surface now I'm just going to be adding white randomly and then I'm going to go ahead and tilt my surface a little bit more. So it's okay to add more paint on top of the paint that you already have on there. It's totally fine. And as you can see, it doesn't look very good right now, but the shape and the design will change as we flip it. 
Right now I'm just making sure that we have enough paint and that we cover most of the areas before we start tilting again. Now I'm tilting again and let's see what happens. We want to make sure these colors mix and we get a nice pattern, something that we like. And I like tapping the edges so that the paint can flow better, so that I can break up the tension around the edges and the paint can drip and fall off the edges and not just get stuck on there. Okay, so I think that is enough tilting and now we're going to be covering the bare spots that we have on the sides and in the middle of those wooden sections. And so I'm going to be doing that with a wooden stick and our fingers. We're just going to go and look for bare spots and fill them out with some of the paint that dripped on top of our cookie sheet or maybe some paint that we have remaining in our cups. I think I want to tilt it just a bit more. And just to get some of that excess paint off of the top of my surface but I don't want to take off too much and ruin my design. I just want to get off some of the excess paint. Now I noticed that there were some bubbles on the surface and so I'm using a heat gun just to pop those bubbles. If you have a torch you can also use that just make sure you don't get too close to the surface and you don't burn your acrylic paint. So you want to do it in quick swipes and really fast. Now our painting is done and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this remaining paint to do another painting. So I'm just going to drop the remaining paint that I have in my cups and I'm going to be dumping or pressing the wooden piece that we primed earlier onto the drips of paint that are on my cookie sheet. I'm pressing lightly and then just getting that paint on the surface. That way we don't waste any paint and we get an extra painting. There you go. This looks like it has way too much blue, so I think I'm going to be flipping it again, but in an area that has more white. And my daughter also wants to do a painting, so she's flipping a canvas, and I flipped mine on top of white, and it kind of turned like a flower. And she's just going around and lightly pressing her canvas on the paint that is on the cookie sheet to get it all covered. So now we're going to be having three paintings with similar colors that can work well as a set. So there you go. Now we have three paintings that will look great as a set. Now I'm going to be showing you how this painting looks up close.